hello, 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 everybody, hello, 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 everybody. This is Bernie, sure, simply her, and guess what I'm doing? Y'all already know, shaving my head. I literally have been trying to um, find my razors, and I just found them the other day. So that's why I haven't been doing that many shave your head videos, but I am back on it. Y'all know I like Gillette. Gillette, yes. That's what, that's, that gets the closest and it's easy for whatever reason to shave my bald head without having to use some shaving cream. And for whatever reason, I like it because it don't give me a lot of bumps or anything. It just kind of takes the hair off and I love it. And then I tap it on the sink so that I can get all the little hairs out. And then I brush them off and get them out. But yes, this is kind of what I do. And I usually just go from the back to the front. But since I realized that if I go from the back, if I start with the back, then coming forward, it's easier to get it off. But then when I finish coming from the back to the front, I go from the front to the back just to get any extra hairs. And it seems to work pretty well. And then I rinse it all off. Or I take my shower because that's what I'm about to do when I finish with this. Take my shower. But um, and then when I get out, I take witch hazel. And I make sure I rub that all over my head so that I don't get any extra bumps or anything like that. Oh, I just felt that hair fall all over my neck. I can tell, I don't know if y'all like this, but I can tell if I'm in the shower, I can tell when one piece of hair is laying on my skin. It could be the smallest piece of hair and not the hair that's attached to my skin. I'm talking about for like cutting hair, like I'm cutting my hair now. When I get out that shower, trust me, I ain't gonna have no name piece of hair on me. And if I do, I feel it. I don't know why, but it's like my body is really sensitive to the hair and all of that. Like, literally sensitive to it. And y'all already know why I cut my hair. I have lupus, chronic fibromyalgia, spinal stenosis, um, arthritis, um, um, uh, I had my thyroid removed because my body tacked it, so no thyroid, that's a, a something I got to do every day, a medicine I have to take every day, but yeah, and all of it contributes to this hair loss, so instead of dealing with the weaves, the wigs, the other stuff, I just put on a wig in the winter time when it's cold because it acts as a hat. And then I, um, other than that, I put on a cap. But I just love me. And I ain't getting ready to stop loving me. How about that? And so when you love yourself and you know what works and what doesn't, you do what works. And this works. Literally. And it works really, really well. I am also so happy that you guys are coming back to my channel and paying attention. And, you know, that you're just my subscribers. I, I appreciate you guys. I know I was gone for a while. I was gone for a while. I just told y'all all the reasons why pretty much all these ailments, things happen. Okay? That's what I'm going to say about that. And then, um, I've been learning while I've been down and sick. I've been learning. And one of the things that I have learned is how to make lipstick. How to better my lip gloss. So all the products that I have right now, I have them on sale, guys. 
So if you want to support me, if you want to, if you want to, you can go over to shirtsimplyher1.com and purchase some lip glosses. I'm going to be doing wholesale also for my lip glosses. So like if you don't want to make it yourself or you feel like yours ain't coming out right and you want to order some of mine to see how I do it, just go on over to shirtsimplyher1.com and order you a batch. Or if you want me to make you some, just email me at shirtsimplyher at gmail.com. And then you'll be able to, I'll be able to know what you want and get it to you within four days. How about that? Okay, guys, so we have done the back. Now, the back of my head right here, I got this little hump right here. And it don't really go over. Um... So, it's hard to get that little hump in the back. <laughs> you know, it it seems like once I go back from the front to the back, then that little hump really gets cleaned off with all the hair. So, we have just finished the front of my head. I mean, the, coming from the back to the front. I don't even feel, let me tell you, I don't even feel that much back there. So then I do this. I told y'all I can feel it. Ugh. Anyway, and then I do this. I know they say you should never go against the grain of your hair. If your hair go this way, go that way. Should take it that way. But I'm gonna tell you something. It don't matter how I take mine. Anywhere it go, it ain't going to stay on. It's going to fall off. <laughs> and how am I going to be? Okay, so I'm going from the back to the front, from the front to the back. So now we're on the front to the back. I just had to get that spot back there. Oh, I can feel it taking it down to the skin. Yes, y'all see that? Down to the skin. That's how I be wanting it. I want it just bald, bald, bald. But um that is it, guys. That is it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. This is my result. And like I said, when I get out the shower, well, before I get in the shower, I'm just pour a little bit of this in my hand. That's before I even get in. But when I get out, I'm going to come out and do the same exact thing. So this going to stay right here. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I love you all. I miss you all. Don't forget to go over to shirtsimplyher1.com to get all your lip gloss, all your supplies. I'm coming out with a whole lot more. This is going into 2024. We are in November. So let's go. Okay. I love y'all. I miss y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to go over to shirtsimplyher1.com. And I'll see you all soon.